Hi, I'm Chris Frangiola, and welcome to my quarantine life. Welcome to Van Nuys, the 91406. This is the neighborhood if you want to cash a bad check or you need a spare tire. These are my cars, you can see. Uh, I got a Range Rover Evoque right there, pretty baller, and I got a Buick Encore. We uh, have the Buick because it gets me into the supermarkets early in these days. I can go shopping from uh, seven to nine. Come on in the house and see what we're doing in our shelter at home life. Sometimes we sit outside, but there's lots of germs. So my living room, we spend uh, most of our time. Uh, I, as you can see, I've gotten so bored that I'm re-watching Tiger King, and I stopped it on the uh, area where he has the Walmart bin of meats, just because I want to see how many different meats he was putting in his pizza. That was the most shocking takeaway I had from Tiger King, that he was making pizzas out of, let's see, turkey burgers, Jimmy Dean biscuits, sausage, different hot dogs, turkey dogs, and then burgers of all different kinds. That's the Tiger King's pizza. I thought I was gonna be the guy during this quarantine who uh, does the adult coloring book, so I ordered an adult coloring book. And as you can see, I have yet to begin any of them, but I'm not saying I won't. And puzzles, you know? Lots of uh, fucking puzzles. My kitchen, got some, uh, you know, a lot of liquor. My neighbors gave me some lemons from their tree, so thanks for the germs. I got uh, an autograph from Mr. David Spade. David Spade. And this guy's a pretty decent plumber if you're looking for something like that. I don't want to brag, but it's uh, remote control. Just right from the house. You can press that button and that'll open. This is my garage. Uh, I do a lot of my uh, sleeping in there just to get away from people. It's the only thing I can do now because you can't be near people. Had a raccoon problem. As you can see, you'll see some raccoon tracks going up the wall here. Somebody said, go get a pinwheel. That'll stop them. So I went to the dollar store and got a pinwheel. It's solar powered, so it'll continue to spin even if you don't have wind. So there you go. It's not doing a damn thing. So come on, raccoons, come on back. Do, do all, dig into the plants, party, dance, whatever you want. Here I'm getting some work done, putting in a covered patio, but the woman I had doing the work on the house, oh, I also live near an airport. So uh, not to brag, but pretty close to the Van Nuys Airport, so you hear a lot of planes coming and going. This is uh, the work the woman's doing. The woman is completely insane. She was bitten by a dog recently and told me she might have rabies. So she hasn't come back in three weeks because she thinks she's rabbit and doesn't want to get anyone else in the house rabbit. Now, at the very least, I get a 25-foot ladder out of the deal. So if I ever need to climb up, or anybody, David, if you ever need to climb up 25 feet, call me because I now have a 25-foot ladder from a rabid construction worker. This is Quarantine Life, everybody. Quarantine Life in Van Nuys, the 91406. I want to start by saying I apologize I'm not more famous. Because, you know, no offense, like, I, I don't want to walk through somebody's house unless they're famous. So just put up there to the editor, if you don't mind, just put up, sorry, he's not famous. But I want to show you something, Dave, coming over here. I looked at this today. Wow, take a look at that. That is a picture of you. The, I think the more important part is those pants. Can you get, can we get a, those are the, stay on those fucking pants. This is my refrigerator. I'm gonna be honest with you. Look, this is a refrigerator worth seeing. When I was younger, I had these friends, I don't want to mention their name, uh, but uh, they always, they were rich and they would have like, their milk was always in a glass milk container. So I, have to have my milk in a glass milk container. But I bought this glass thing like four years ago. I just buy milk from Vaughn's, I pour it in. A big fucking illusion. Why? <laughs> I like to do a song! By the way, I wanna be honest with you, cause I'm not, I'm very organized all the time. My head is too scrambled as it is, but I got paranoid just walking around your house. I didn't want my house to look too neat. Then it looks like, oh, bullshit, right? So here's what I do. Here's me going, ah, oh, it's lived in, you know? So I just left the bed down a little, you know? Oh yeah, that bed, I just got up. Oh yeah, that's the way it just fell. Yeah, sure. I was at your house and you had all these pictures over the wall, you know? So I was like, I gotta have a wall like that. This is good for people to know. Knowing that we can love exactly as we, what? Here's you over here, here's you and me. Look at this, at some game, 
And I remember walking around the field and the crowd started to slowly sort of figure out it was you and they went fucking nuts. You said, you know, Todd, don't tell anybody, but that just gave me a boner, you know? So anyway, my girlfriend is the one running the camera. And by the way, because I'm trying to live an honest life, I should let you know that my girlfriend is a guy. All right, that's it. You know what I do lately? I just try to jog around. You know, you know people that tell you bullshit you can't really do in real life. They're like, yeah, you know, even when you're getting your laundry, you just dance around. Like, no, I can't do that. Walk silly. To get exercise, double walk everywhere you go. Take three feet, turn around, start going again. Here we go. Here we are, we're in the, we're in the, the, I call it the barn. So here's my offer, like I'm willing. You know, I will say, I will perform for the show. I mean, I have no problem. I will come in here and do, I'll do 20 minutes, what the fuck? What, I have nothing to do, right? For $10,000. <laughs> hey, yeah. And now, I'll sing a song-ish, so we don't have to pay royalties. It's called New Yorkish, New Yorkish. Oh, all right, I'm done. Ooh, I think I shit in my pants. Quack quack. Hey, welcome to Cribs Quarantine Edition. My name is Tim Dillon, and you know me from uh, Lights Out with David Spade. I've been in my home for 30 days and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's exciting and I'm lucky to have a, a, a kind of a dilapidated apartment in West Hollywood that lots of failed actors have died in. Uh, let's take a look. We've got some great art here from Long Island. Lindsay Lohan, I'm from Long Island too. I fucking respect her. I respect everything she's about. Great, great thing right there. So here we have like the sitting area. We have a big TV here, so we could watch my appearances on Lights Out with David Spade, and I sit on my couch and smoke crack. The business center is really important, uh, where we get our work done. Uh, got a printer here and uh, a computer. These do not work. Crayons, you know, we eat them. This is it, this is where we broadcast from. This is our podcast studios where we broadcast the Tim Dillon Show. We are the anchors at the end of the world. Uh, we have the green screen here. Full capacity to do anything we want right here in the home. We're ready. We're ready to go. We don't care. Martial law, not a problem. Uh, this is a bathroom here. Look at that film. See how sick LA is? See the reels of film up there? It's real funny, huh? Uh, this is my room. It's very colorful. Color is so important to me. Uh, it looks like I just moved in. I like to keep it uh, so that nobody can really prove that I live here because I'm not on the lease. I'm just adjusting to quarantine life. I'm, I'm pretty cool with it. I actually, I probably won't leave my apartment when I'm allowed. Uh, we're out here on the terrace, um, which is really cool. This is gonna be, you get a great view of the riots. Uh, that are going to happen, you know, very interesting. Uh, but we have surfboards here, so if anybody, if anybody starts a problem with us, you know, we just take it down to the beach, show them what we're about. It's a funny area here. You know, most of these people are upset that they can't afford houses, and they're miserable, and they spend their entire lives just calling the police on people that have parked their cars in inappropriate spots. Hey, thanks for visiting my crib. Thanks for visiting my crib. I imagine this is the last sketch I will do as the world is ending, but this has been a great use of my time and I hope a great use of yours.